nine. That's terrible. I'm going six and nine this game. Go say I'm throwing stun. There's three of them. Please go. I'm trying not to die. One more, baby. One more. One more. Yes, sir. Dude. Oh my. If I got played that hard, I mean, I know that's just rust. Like, but like, but no way, bro. This fucking kid. This guy. I just hit a six Go. multi. It's kind of hot. Oh! Oh shit. Was that triple? Yeah, triple? I don't know. Yo, baby, baby. I, I think it was. Cause I gotta kill like right before that. Do you know who this is? Or nope. that, that's Rogue. He's like one of one of the really really good players. Like very well respected. Okay. Hey, my so name is Patrick. Patrick. How you doing? You can call me Sith Solo. Shit Solo, huh? Basically, level 237. Go outside, buddy. Take a shower. Right. Good, good Do gaga. so much of life. Take a shower. Take a shower. Good, good Do so much. <laughs> All right, what's up guys, it's Sale. I know you're not used to the face cam in these commentaries. It's just a lot easier for me to use my OBS studio and everything to make this commentary versus just constantly shadow play recording. But also I wanted to let you guys know that if you are watching this right now, I am more than likely live streaming on Twitch. And if you wanna see me hit these highlights and stuff live, come on through and if I'm not, I will be live shortly after this video goes up. But let's get right into the settings for this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to honestly just go from left to right, from keyboard and mouse to controller. I'm going to give you guys the controller settings that I personally would use as well. So for my mouse sensitivity, for my keyboard and mouse, I'm using a four sensitivity with 800 DPI. Now, a lot of people don't understand what DPI and everything is. So DPI is the way that your mouse, how fast your mouse goes, not even when you're gaming. But that also does come into play when you are moving around and looking around inside a game. So I use 800 DPI. If you don't know how to do that, it should be in your mouse software and you should be able to see it. But with four sensitivity in game on Cold War. Then for my ADS multipliers, I'm running 0.7 on high and low. A lot of people don't understand why I do this. I just like it when it slows down a little bit when I scope it. It gives me a little bit more room to actually aim and do what I want to do. For my vehicle mouse, my tablet, all this stuff is pretty much the exact same default. I have one on this, one on this. My ADS sensitivity transitioning. So basically what it will transition. So I have a 0.7 sensitivity when I'm zooming in. So it'll slow down gradually. It won't be an instant slowdown and it won't be after I zoom in. So as I'm zooming in, it'll start to slow down. Then all this stuff is pretty much default. I have the vertical sensitivity multiplier is just one. Nothing happens with that. Relative ADS mouse sensitivity. I like relative more than legacy. A lot of people play legacy, but I personally like relative and 1.33 monitor distance co coefficient. Also my mouse acceleration smoothing and mouse filtering is all disabled at zero. Then for my keybinds, pretty much everything is the same, but my next weapon is E. I personally like switching with E more. It makes it easier for me, but a lot of people like to do the scroll wheel. I also have a bound to scroll wheel. Sometimes I do do that. All right, so for my graphic settings, I play in full screen, monitor one, of course, which is my main monitor I game on. I game on an Asus 144 Hertz monitor. I don't know exactly which one it is. I do not have V-Sync on that completely kills your GPU. My menu V-Sync is disabled, automatic aspect ratio, color blend modes, nothing on. My field of view is 100. I personally like playing on 100. I think that's what looks best on this game. 120, in my opinion, does not look good at all. My ADS field of view on this game is independent. I play independent when I am using iron sights on snipers, so I zoom in a little bit more, but I also play affected when I am red gunning. So it all depends on what you feel like. Now this thing I really wanna get into with you guys because a lot of people don't understand this. 
you want to lock your menu and your minimized game frame rate to 60 and then you want to lock your overall frame rate while you are playing the game to whatever hertz your monitor is at if you go above what your monitor is at you're just pushing your pc and when you're on the menu and stuff you honestly don't even need anything more than 60 frames just to be able to navigate and then for everything else the details and textures everything is disabled and on low i i mean we're playing call of duty the game doesn't need to look the most beautiful it's not a solo player game and it's not battlefield so honestly just keep your settings all low there's no reason to have it any other way all right so for the audio settings i'm using master volume is at 75 music at zero sound effects 75 dialogue 75 and cinematics at zero basically i'm going to be hearing no music when i'm in the game at all so it won't interfere with anything also the cinematics volume so like if you're doing the battle pass and stuff like that you won't hear the like the, the really loud like clinching effect so honestly this is just perfect to me I like it at 75 because it's not too loud and it's also not too quiet. I can hear footsteps if I really want to pay attention. And then everything, everything is the exact same. I mean, I don't have anything changed. Everything is just default. My default system device, everything on audio is the exact same. Now interface guys, this, this is a big one that not a lot of people know about. When you go into interface, you want to go to your HUD on your interface. And the HUD bounds, basically, this makes it to where the game is going to be more scrunched or is it going to be spread apart. A lot of people don't understand this, so they keep theirs like this. But if you do this, then that means that your kill feed is going to be in the bottom left corner of your screen only. Like, it will be right at the end. And then, honestly, if you are getting an editor to edit your stuff, they will not like this because when they do their pan and crop, their kill feed will zoom off the screen. So if every single time that you guys get a new game or you're trying to hit a clip in a certain game, make sure your HUD is all the way in. That's a must. I have been told that millions of times by editors and my leaders and everything. Just make sure everything is all the way in. And then for everything else, it's shown except the horizontal compass. You don't need the horizontal compass in this game when you're playing multiplayer. You really don't. I mean, it may, maybe if you're playing like Outbreak Zombies, but you still have a mini map to see your friends. So I just, I hide that. There's no reason for that. Okay, and for my controller settings, these are what I would run on my controller when I played it. So, I would run 14 sensitivity and 13 vertical sensitivity. Personally, I've always been a high sensitivity player. I really enjoy it. My low zoom, I'm keeping at 0.7 so I can have a little bit easier of tracking while I am red gunning. Then for my ADS high zoom, I'm running one sensitivity just so I can hit those flicks if I really need to. My button layout, I love playing tactical. I don't have them flipped or anything. I always shoot with the triggers, not the bumpers. My aim response curve type, a lot of people play different things. I play standard on this game, but what if I'm playing MW, I'm playing dynamic. Honestly, it's just all preference, but I like standard on this game. My aim assist, I'm using the precision aim assist because you know it's just broken in this game. And then for my left stick and my right stick input threshold, I'm running, I'm running five on that. Makes it easier to look around and it really feels like what you're doing with your thumb. And if you guys are wanting to improve your aim on keyboard and mouse, this is what I suggest. This is the scenario that I use. This is what I use when I improve my aim. I use this once or twice a day. I do it right before I hop on the game and I do it right before I go to bed. Now I would say if you're going to do it before any time, make sure you do it before you go to bed because the most time for improvement is when you're sleeping because of that muscle memory. But yeah, guys, like I said, if you want to see all these highlights and these funny moments and stuff hit live on stream, I'm more than likely streaming right now. And if I am not, I will be live shortly after. But with that being said, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.